Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm going to show you a trick on how to remove a Samsung account from any Samsung phone, uh, Samsung S22 Ultra, S22, S21, Note 10, Note 10 Plus, Note 20 and this is an easy way to remove the account. So if I show you and I go to accounts, this phone has a Samsung account and maybe if you forgot your password or you can't recall your password or you can't access your password, this is a way to recover and to remove the Samsung account. So all you have to do is first back up all your details, all your data. You back up all your data and all your information you need from the phone. So as you see, if I go on the Google account, it has the remove option. You can press on remove and the account will be deleted from the device but a samsung account you have to put in a password to remove that account even though you try to reset the phone it won't allow as now if i go to reset and i go to data factory reset and i input my password the lock screen password still it will ask for some uh, for the samsung account password and you can't remove that account you can restart the phone without the password of that account and it's an easy trick to remove the account after backing up all your data uh, the data you want you back up your contacts to your email uh, you can create a different email where you know the password you back up the contacts your photos uh, everything you require in this phone don't back up on your samsung account because it's going to be deleted and anything backed up on your Samsung account will will not be accessed. And when your Samsung account, you can't recall a password, there are certain features you can't use on a Samsung phone, like the Samsung Pass, uh, maybe some things in case you ask for a password to verify if it's you, that you won't be able to use. You won't be able to use the Samsung app, the samsung store and now after that all you have to do is go to settings and first remove your email account that's easy to remove and after removing it because it will just ask for your fingerprint or your lock screen password after removing that all you have to do is power off the phone so to power off the phone you just have to place the power button and volume down button so the phone will go off so i'm trying to power off the phone and after powering off the phone and backing up all your contacts and uh, what you have to first do is remove your email after backing up everything remove your google account your email account uh, to prevent the phone getting an frp lock because if you reset reset the phone with your email in it will get an frp lock but you remove your email account the way I removed mine and you power off the phone. After powering off the phone, all you have to do is place the power button and volume up and you keep placing them. Uh, mine is charging, it's on low battery. If your phone is on low battery, you put it in the charger. So let me place the power button and volume up button. When you see the Samsung logo, you release the uh, buttons. So, and the phone is going to go to recovery mode, as you see. So, I will scroll down and I go to wipe data. I go to wipe data, then I place the power button there. So, the phone will wipe all data in my phone. And also wipe cache partitions. And also wipe cache partitions. You go to yes and wipe cache partitions and place the power button to reboot the phone. And this will take a few minutes or uh, some couple of minutes for the phone to like load and go back on. And what we did removed the Samsung account. The phone is starting. So all you have to do is go through the process of resetting your phone, restarting your phone as if it's a new phone. Yeah, you just set up your phone. This will take a few seconds. Let me set up my phone. So after setting up your phone, the phone will come when it has no Samsung account. You can create a new account 
where you will remember the password and in most cases if you can't recover your password you don't have details that you used to set up your samsung account there you can't recover your password maybe the email you used or the phone number you used that is linked to your samsung account you can't access it there you won't get your samsung account back so because they keep on sending codes on the number or the email you use it and you won't be able to get a code they send and so after resetting the phone as you see now i've totally eliminated the samsung account without having its password so now i can start afresh and create a new account as you see if i go to accounts there is no account linked to this phone so far as you see i have no account I just have to add a new account, a new Samsung account, a new, but the email account for that you have the details so you can add your email account and all your backups will come back. But this is the easy way to eliminate a Samsung account if you don't recall a single password of your account. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and see you next time. Hopefully this works for you and you'll be able to reset your phone and remove the Samsung account.